Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. Well, you probably use a lot of things on your Mac that require passwords, from visiting different websites to using Mail Program, for instance. Thing is, if you notice, you enter those passwords in once, and then you never have to enter them in again. That's because they're saved in something called the keychain. The keychain is one of those things that most users never actually look into. But you can actually look at your keychain and see what passwords are stored there. Let's take a look. This is the Keychain Access application. You can find it in your Applications Utilities folder. Just open it up and it will list everything in your keychain. So you can see here there's a few things on this machine. Right away we see a bunch of different uh, passwords for an external hard drive. Uh, we see something for an application right here. And we see some passwords for some email. Uh, we also see our .Mac account password. Now if you click on one of these, like say for this application, you'll come up with a dialog box that tells you the name of the application, what it is, um, and it tells you where it is. Uh, you also can click on here to show the password for that. Um, you can also look at access control and you can change it for instance to say um, you know, confirm before allowing access and ask for keychain password. What's going to happen is when you first start up your computer after uh, rebooting you'll notice that uh, the first time you need a password for something it asks you for keychain access. And once it's opened up then any password stored in your keychain can be accessed without asking you again. But you can change that here. You can ask for keychain password for this specific item. And another thing that's useful back in the attributes here is using the show password. Say if you forgot a password for some sort of account and you want to log on to another machine this will enable you to retrieve that password. So there's a couple of useful things already that you see you can do here. You can also arrange your keychain access uh, so you can actually see things like passwords. You can also look at certificates, uh, security certificates for various things. Um, you can look at, uh, say, keys uh, for various signatures. And you can even create secure notes for yourself. Let's come back to later. So there's two things you may want to do now that you know about the keychain. One is you may want to go through and delete some passwords you don't really need. Maybe you don't want just anybody you can see your computer have access to. Because once you start your computer up, enter in the keychain password the first time a password is needed, now anybody who sits there can actually access things that are password protected that are stored in your keychain. So you can delete some things if you want. Another thing that you could do is you can create a second keychain, maybe for very specific things, like for instance, log on to certain uh, external drives or certain applications, that type of thing. Save that in a separate keychain. When you log on to one keychain that has a set of passwords, you're not logged into the other. So this allows you to maybe have some people have access to some things and not to others. Again, it all depends on how much you're concerned about security and these sorts of things. If you're one person with one computer, then it probably really doesn't matter. Of course what you really should do if you have more than one person using a computer is establish different accounts for different people. But that's a topic for another show. In the meantime another thing you can use Keychain for is if you're giving your computer to somebody, even temporarily, you may want to go through and lock that keychain and start another one or throw away all the passwords in the keychain. Anyway, these are just some basic security tips and now that you know about Keychain maybe you can start to use it and learn more about it. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.